goes with a better team. I can't say it any other way. I don't really think everybody knows what they're about to witness. I have no talent when I see one. I should be an NFL scout. Jonathan, I don't like that pick. I love that pick. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dorn Bay Podcast, and welcome to our divisional series. This is where we go through every single division, and we rank who the best who the team is that's going to be the best and the team that's going to be the worst in that division. This episode, we are on to the NFC South, arguably one of the worst divisions in football with the Bucks winning last year at a record of 9 and 8. Pretty crazy. Let's go through the NFC South. So if you don't remember or you just didn't know, the Tampa Bay Bucks are in this division, the New Orleans Saints, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Carolina Panthers. Now some things to note Two of those teams got new coaches. The Panthers got Dave Canales, I think, and the Atlanta Falcons got Raheem Morris. So two new coaches in this division. Uh, like I said before, the Bucks came in first, the Saints came in second, Falcons came in third, and Panthers came in dead last. The Bucks were the only team from this division to make the playoffs. So let's get right into who's going to be number one. In my book, in the NFC South, I think this is back-to-back years that I'm picking them, and I think this year is the better year to pick them because they have a better quarterback. Number one in the NFC South is the Atlanta Falcons for me. The number one team that will win the NFC South is the Atlanta Falcons. I have the Atlanta Falcons. I have the New Orleans Saints as the number one team to win the NFC wow. South. Wow. Interesting, okay. Really? Uh, we'll get to that. Let's worst to team worst. for me, the worst team is not changing for me. It is going to be the Carolina Panthers. Same thing here, not changing for me. Carolina Panthers last place in the NFC South. Yep, yep, Panthers as well. No, 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 no big surprise there. P- Panthers. I got the Panthers going last. Okay. Good. All right, so Jonathan, you have the floor. Uh, please explain to me the New Orleans Saints pick okay. uh, for number one. Yeah, please. So they have they've had some key additions this offseason. Okay, Chase Young. Okay, Willie Gay, Cedric Wilson, Kool Aid McKinstry, the rookie. Okay, he is going to be really great in the league. Lockdown corner. That's what they need on defense. And they also have Spencer Rattler as like a backup. But Derek Carr. He has the experience needed. Last season um, was a, was a little choppy, but I think with the additions they have, um, I think I think they'll have a better season. I think Derek Carr, he he's he's familiar with the coaching staff. He's familiar with the, the players and the teams. Now I think he's gonna do better than other teams in the division. Really, I think they all suck to be honest. Um, that's why I was surprised <laughs> the Eagles again. I hate to bring this back, but the Eagles lost thirty-two to nine to them in the playoffs. All right, we'll bring that back. All but, right. This uh, this twist is not the good. There. So the Saints are gonna suck the least out of everyone. Um, you guys are really confident. <laughs> the best you guys are really confident in the Falcons because of Kirk Cousins, but still they got they got Judon, they got Simmons. Okay, Bijan. Justin Simmons. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Bijan Robinson is gonna get unleashed. They got a new head coach. Kyle Arthur Pitts. Smith is gone. Kyle Pitts season. Well, Pitts has been supposed to be good. He's been supposed to be good for a few years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. What was it? Yeah. No, but, yeah, but last year. Wait, yeah, who's the offensive yeah. coordinator for this? Is is Raheem going to call the plays, or who's the offensive coordinator? Do we know? Let's see. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I, yeah, so Kirk, Kirk. We should. Yeah, know. Kirk, Kirk Cousins is a decent quarterback, and yes, you, you make good points about Judon and Justin Simmons and all that, but. Um, oh, Zach Robinson. Yeah, um, they're all decent players. Was, all decent. Zach Robinson is. Um, the offensive coordinator, he's coming from the Rams. Okay. So he was the passing game coordinator with the okay. Rams. Okay. I could see Stafford, Kirk Cousins, uh, vibes. Yeah. Similar pocket style. Similar, similar style. Okay. Yeah. We don't know. Like We haven't I, seen I, Kirk play in a while, right? He's been injured for a period of time. Yeah. yeah. So that could play a factor. That's true. He's, he's coming off a torn Achilles, right? Yeah, yeah, it's torn Achilles, yeah. And he's older, so we'll see how he comes back yeah. from that. So that's, that's a big question mark. So I don't. That's why I'm not confident to give him the number one seed. Where Derek Carr, you know what you're going to get and from him. Then you had, had Rodgers going better, though, right? And he's older than Kirk, and he's also coming off Achilles. Uh, yeah. He had the Dolphins, right? He had the Dolphins. 
Yeah, the Dolphins. Oh, yeah. yeah the Dolphins. Yeah, the Dolphins. Um, Sorry. So, yeah, the Saints are going to win this out of everyone. The Bucks are close second, to be honest, with Baker Mayfield. He got paid pretty well this offseason. Um, Jordan Whitehead. They got Jordan Whitehead. Um, they, they've, they've, Bucks have a decent squad, so I think they'll get second. It'll be close with them and the Saints, but I'm surprised you guys said the Falcons, really. I think I'm, I'm really shocked by that. I'm I'm swooned by their uh, off season additions. Yeah, so I, I just I couldn't not pick them. Uh, yep. I think a close second I have is the Bucks. Yes, um, me too. But Bucks for my second as well. And Jonathan, you said it the best. Like I think this is more like I'm not too personal about being wrong here. I think it's just who's going to be the least worst. <laughs> and yeah. I think for years it's been with the Falcons with with you know the last coach where they draft Bijan but then barely use him. Like there was no like the most inverse logic that you'd ever, I'd ever seen in a coach. It was like, we don't want to use our best weapons. We don't want to put them in a position to win. Like I just never seen anything like it. Yeah. And they have talent. And then I have, a, I feel a little bit, that's why I think it's still least worse. Like I wouldn't put any money on any of these teams, like making a Super Bowl run, but with the Falcons, they have the talent. I still put the question mark of like, they draft the quarterback, but they, they pay Kirk, but I kind of get it where it's like love and Rogers, you think. So they kind of long-term, but I think they will be the least worse. The thing with Baker, compared to car for me is they're both you kind of know what you're going to get out of them at this point and i feel like the bucks had a better team in place more meld i respect the saints though but that's why i was like close second amongst those two i probably put the bucks over the panthers though i think they have one of the you know with the the owner making the news for non-football reasons i'm like they might have a dan snyder not 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 dan snyder but like (laughs) they might have a long-term issue on their hands if they want to win yeah, I uh, Baker had a really good season last year, and he surprised me. And if you told me last year, if you were comparing Baker or Derek Carr, I would say Derek Carr is better. But after last season, I'd rather have Baker. And Derek Carr, yep. I don't see any life left in the guy at all. Really? <laughs> at all. At all. I just Which don't. He, he should be. Yeah, I, I would have been with you too. Same thing. I would have picked the same fix. Yeah, and and I I don't know. I just can't ignore all those Falcons additions. I really can't. And the Bucks, honestly, they Shaq Barrett got traded or not traded, but he got signed to a new team and then he retired. And then they lost Devin White, and then they lost cornerback Carlson Davis. Three starters from that Bucks defense. Um, and they really didn't replace him. They got an edge guy and a safety guy, uh, and they drafted a receiver and a running back. Um they didn't really replace them, so I'm a little concerned about that defense. Not to say that, you know, this NFC South is a high-flying <laughs> offense. It's not like you need to guard much. No. Um, but it just was <laughs> something that, like, oh, they didn't replace guys, like, and, the, and they're big-name guys. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the Falcons can do it. I'm sad about Desmond Ritter. I was really pulling for him last yeah. year. He's yeah. now on the Cardinals, so he's not playing at all. But I feel more comfortable with Kirk Cousins at the helm than uh, Desmond Ritter, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, another another tough year for this NFC South. 